Uh, when I rebound to 10, I'll sell. Uh, here's a great rule. Uh, somebody buys a stock at 10, and it falls to 6. They say, if it gets back to 10, I'll sell. Now, I think the math, 4 and 6, I can handle this level of math. I think that's about a 66% return. You ought to buy it. If you think it's going back to 10, you ought to buy the hell out of the damn thing. But they think, if it gets back to 10, I'll sell. Now, what you ought to do is never put down a round number, because I think for the next 26 years, the stock will be between five and nine and a quarter. It'll never get to 10. <laughs> so maybe put nine and eighth or eight and three quarters. But just saying the stock, if it gets back to what I paid for it, this is a very important rule. This is, a very, this is one of the key rules. The stock doesn't know you own it. <laughs> Remember that. You could be a miserable person. You could have uh, you know, never helped anybody never done anything right, had 67 spouses, never done anything right. If you own Coca-Cola the last 50 years, it's gone up 300-fold. You could be the greatest human in the world, help Special Olympics, help the mentally challenged, help poor people, help AIDS people. If you own Bethlehem Steel, it's lower than it was 30 years ago. It's not your fault. Don't take this personal, you know. But people treat stocks sometimes like a grandchildren or a puppy. I mean, they, 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 think, they think the stock knows who you are, you know. It's, you know.